I have got to talk about this normalizer competition. <laughs> this portion of the normalizer was well deserved. Let's take a look. your last battle for round number one. All right, we have over here our blue side. We have over here our yellow side. Judges, you must make your decision now. One, two, three, judge. It's the yellow side has it. Is to save every day till eternity pass. <laughs> the look on their face was awesome. You know, it's not normal to see newcomers kind of come on the scene and actually beat people who've been around for a long time. Generally, those people who've been around for a long time are there for a long time for a very specific reason, and it's because they're really good. And I'm so proud of those who are actually watching this competition, just acknowledging what they were seeing by just giving props to where props were due. The Canadian couple crushed it and it was well-deserved. Now, we gotta talk about this next one because I almost lost my marbles and I wanna hear what you guys think below after watching this. Don't forget to check out the benefits of becoming a Street Smart Swing member. You get access to the Lindy Hop Blueprint, which is my success system that helps dancers really understand the core principles that make Lindy Hop work fundamentally. Once you can grasp what master dancers understand, you will be able to grasp the principles of Lindy Hop at your current level, which will ultimately put you in the driver's seat to fix your own dancing without always having to need a teacher. Members of the Street Smart Swing community also receive personalized feedback on their social dancing. They will also receive 24-hour access to all classes posted each week. So check out the benefits in the description below. I know what my eyes saw, guys, and I 
I was let down by that last decision. I thought that couple should have been not third place, but they should have been second place going up against Niels and Bianca. Now, of course, I think Niels and Bianca could have destroyed them, but still, I think they should have been in the final round. And of course, everybody has their separate opinion, so all the judges were deciding who they liked, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I, just going off of the skills and how tight their performance was, I prefer the Canadian couple uh, more than any other uh, partner dancer aside from Niels and Bianca in this competition. Let me know what you guys thought about this in the comments section below. Who was your favorite next to Niels and Bianca? Who do you think should have been in the finals? Let me know.